do you feel uncomfortable disappointed i don't know choose the word you want mm-hmm. to that at the moment the bjp does not have a muslim member of parliament in the lok sabha mm-hmm. in the lok sabha mm-hmm. before you give me the rajya sabha example mm-hmm. that you do um do you feel at the same time there's a very interesting outreach going on between the bjp and the pasmanda muslim community which you have actually explained you yourself mm-hmm. if going by your original uh, last family name would belong to how do you look at the bjp and its outreach or lack of with the Indi- with the muslim community there might be millions of uh, homosexual people in this country yes does congress party have any declared homosexual mp no does it not represent the rights of homosexuals is it against homosexuals not that i i mean i am not a spokesperson yeah. for the congress so i'm just asking you as a yeah, yeah. Sir, but you wouldn't think right i don't think so similarly is it necessary that only if my lok sabha mp happens to be a muslim he will consider or work for the muslim community no in fact it's like if someone says only women should be women and child development exactly. minister i don't agree with it that's right so that so, point is taken but but but, but i tell you but it's not you're making a clever argument but not a, not, not, not a me. genuine one because you know what i'm okay. asking you know what i'm asking let's have a let genuine, me, let let's me. have a genuine conversation i'm having this. a genuine yeah. conversation two aspects to this one from the first lok sabha from 1952 to the lok sabha of 2004 and i'm talking about pre modi era because after modi ji people think that this country has democracy is over in this country so i'm saying pre modi ji era when democracy bahut phal phool rahi thi us samay par the population of muslims was around 12 13% 14% the representation of muslims average in these lok sabhas is 5.3% who okay. is responsible bjp bjp was the born in 1980 came into prominence after 98 for the first time and now into majority government after 2014 who denied the muslims their representation i am not saying what about the that congress didn't do it i am saying why didn't it happen during the congress years congress is the bastion of secularism chalo congress ke baad there were other parties who claimed secularism the reason is that uh, let me give you one more example in gujarat the only time gujarat Gujarat has about 10% Muslim population. So if you see in terms of seats, 180 seats in the assembly, you should give 18 to Muslims. The only time Congress party in Gujarat has given above 10 seats to Muslims is in 1995. Modi ji was not on the scene in Gujarat. Yeah. He came after 2000. Yeah. What prevented Congress to give 18 seats in every election in Gujarat? Winability. Winability. I am a very talented spokesperson of the BJP. If I get a ticket from the BJP, will I win an election? And not as of now. You might. I don't. Know. Would, you want, would you only? Want, would you want to contest? I was going to. That was going I'll to be one to of that, my questions. I'm please. just giving this example for okay. another reason. Okay. The reason is that winability is the ultimate touchstone in a political contest of a democracy, right? We don't. We give people to. We give tickets to people who will win the election. That is the political contest in a democracy. It's a legitimate political contest. You don't give tickets to people who are going to lose an election. not as a congress not as a samajwadi party not as any other party so in that circumstances just on the aspect of winability obviously you're going to give your most winnable candidate it is it is actually the most secular choice that is being but made. you know this is the basis on which women have been let's pick up pick up another subgroup women mm-hmm. right for as long as i've been in journalism i have seen the story of women's reservation bill literally for as long as i've been in journalism and for decades now we've heard the same argument about winability It's the same argument that's given. I'm just saying there has to be a better way. No, I think around that, this. I think that uh, the entire parameter to judge inclusiveness in society and in the uh, in the share of development should not be restricted to whether there is a Muslim Lok Sabha MP. or whether there is a minister who happens to be from the muslim community the touchstone should be as follows in my opinion mr modi runs some of the most biggest social welfare schemes i call him the masaya social welfare mm. when he sends a tap water connection to and he sent 11 and a half crores of them to households who didn't have it does sultana and shilpa both get it yes when he sends a toilet to 12 crore people and we become open defecation free barring a few instances here and there nothing is there might be one or two instances you can pick up but when we go from that stage where women had to lock themselves up 
and could not go and relieve themselves for hours. And today they are in a position to go and do that and then spend their time on education. Does that not treat Sultana, Shilpa, Mary, Matthew, Mohit, Madhav, Mohammed? 80 crore people got rations. One instance where a Muslim family came to anybody and said, Ki hame ration nahi mila kyunki mera naam Abdullah hai. Is there an instance of where the three and a half crore awas that has been given, the house, pakka house that has been given, most of which, by the way, are in the name of women, their ownership has been given to, so that the women gets a stake in that property. Three and a half crore houses built. Please show me one instance of so discrimination. I, I, I take this so point. taking that point forward. The problem with this narrative is that it is not even about the Muslim representation. It's not a it's narrative, not about, it's a question. It is not, Do we not why. want an inclusive parliament? And this is not only about Muslims. I gave you the example of women, right? I, I would like to see more women in parliament. But I have another question for you, Barkha, because we're having a conversation, so yes, an interview of yeah. that sort. Why should only the Muslims be the representatives of minorities in this country? One second. We are the second biggest majority. Are you telling me that Muslims with 15, 14, 15 percent population, uh, 20 crore Muslims are considering themselves as minority. Why, why isn't this question, how many Parsi MPs are there? Minority may minority, Jain MPs, Buddhist MPs. Why not the question that uh, uh, how many are there from uh, other com communities in the minority, Sikh community? Hardeep Puri is a Sikh. He's a cabinet minister with multiple portfolios. Why isn't that said ever? Why was the minority commission chairperson always a Muslim? Now it is Mr. Lal Pura, Sikh. Jain members were not there in the committee, in the commission. Why? And why is it that these communities which are micro, micro, micro uh, minorities, like the Parsis or the Jains, one second, then not one Parsi have I met in my life who said that we haven't progressed because we don't have a Parsi minister. In fact, they are foremost, if you see in per capita income, in education and in all standards. How? Because it is not a function about who's your MP. That system, I'm glad that separate electorates that I need a Muslim MP to yeah, represent yeah, me yeah. is over. Word. That was Jinnah's thought. This is not Gandhi. Uh, Gandhiji's thought at all. I, I agree with that. I just leave it wide open for you to think about representation in general. It's not only about... I, I always say women. I want to see more women in parliament. Tell me how that will happen. Yeah. But but let's, let's, let me pick up another thread here. The women thing. Yeah. How many women are editor-in-chief editor, chief, editor -in -chief of channels? Women leadership. Forget level. political system. No, no, I agree. Forget political system Stop. and winnability. I on the basis of large number of I, aspects. I agree, you are right. Just on talent. Where are the women CEOs? You are right. Where are the women You are owners? right. You are, are right. Unless they are daughters of somebody. You are right. You, you are right. So, that's what I'm saying. Why is it that a societal issue is then being subtly converted into a political issue and the BJP is being beaten with a stick with it? I am only asking you, would you like to see just like I would like to see more women, I would like to see, actually you're right, the examples you've named of Sikhs, of Parsis, I think we have to just think more about how we can, about inclusivity. I don't know the best way to get there, but I think we, even in our own newsrooms, in our own organizations, we're not as inclusive as we should be, right? Let me, let me give you an example. Uh, I think that rather than force uh, inclusivity from the top, yeah, like we always think that a law will come or we give some something and then it will become more inclusive. The inclusivity needs to be generated from the bottom, wherein if everybody has a certain amount of socio-economic position and all of them are at a certain level of economic development, then obviously that will allow them more access to opportunity. You don't need to give the person the fish. You need to teach him how to fish. And if he learns that, then the access to opportunity is what you need to create. You don't need to hold somebody's hand and get them into parliament. You need to tell them that here are the set of conditions we're creating so that you have the access to fight an election would, and be into parliament.